Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So we finished um, training the model in our previous in the previous video and in this video we will talk about um, deploying the model. Now um, I'm in my Vertex AI interface and um, because the, the previous video had some audio issues um, at the end of the video I would go through um the last part of the video again in this in this video so um i'm just going to inspect the train model so in that and then you see the version number of the of the model so this is version one And then we, we can see the, the metrics of the model. So you can see um, the precision, the recall, um, the when it was created, the training items, the test items, and stuff like that. And then you can also see the precision recall curve, right? You also have a confidence threshold. If you change this confidence threshold, you see the metrics changing. So based on your objective, you can change the confidence threshold and then see how it affects the precision and the recall. You also have the confusion metrics. And you can see that this is a fairly um, good model, right? So um, after getting results like this and after doing some evaluation of your metrics, and if you are satisfied with that, the next thing you do is um, you can deploy the model. Now there is a deploy and test um, tab here that you can use, but um, I'm not going to use that. We are going to write code. And the reason why I usually like writing code for this is that it makes it reusable. So the next time I want to train an auto ML model, I just need to change some cells and then run the code and then you don't have to really click stuff right so for deploying the model the first thing we have to do is to get the model name right so I'm going to copy the name of the model here Ouch. and then copy that and then what do we do with this right so we have to get a reference um, to this model right so I'm going to run the this again right so that I can get my AI platform initiated and then I'll go just down here so I'll say model is AI platform dot models dot list right and then if here we have only one model so the list would have listed only one model but just in case um, you had more than one model you can filter with a display name right so I'm gonna say my display name is the model name and then when you you can see a reference to the model right it's in a list so if I take the first element that would give me the reference to that model right so the next thing I can do is I can deploy this model right so um, first I'm going to copy this timestamp so that so I'm going to copy this timestamp and then I'm going to say deployed model display name is equal to um, then let me use uh, string formatting here so deployed text classification model and then I will just add a timestamp. Right. And then we have endpoint. So model dot deploy. So 
so deployed model display name deployed model display name and then we say sync is equal to true hopefully this works and then run that um, so we had um, an error let me see oh so it should actually be this model zero dot deploy yeah and yeah it's now um, creating the endpoint so um, we can go to our interface and then see the progress of this endpoint being created so if you go to endpoints here right and yeah since i already had one endpoint there already um this is active it needs to be ready right it needs to say ready before you can use that so if i go here as you can see it is still deploying so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna pause this video and then wait for it to finish deploying and then come back to it so our model is ready and as you can see it has been deployed so how do you use this model so let's go to this tab sample request so this is how you can um, use the model so first I'm going to um, set some um, environment variables so this is dependent on your um, on your model right you do you you can't use what I'm using here right so I'm going to create some environment variables. And I'll say export and paste that. and then also the project ID and then you can um, execute this right to get your prediction so I'm just going to execute that and then here you should put um, so if I click that it gives me something but all right so um, here in your instances right so in your content you should put um, something right so let's say here because it's news Articles, right? So um, it has to be. So let's let's give uh, maybe a sports um, headline. So let's say Manchester United and Arsenal fail to qualify. The Champions League. So we expect this to be a sports right article. So just gonna put this output maybe in some text. Well, let's see. Right, and we have our predictions here. So you can see that in the confidences, right? So 
this is a probability that it's a sports article is 0 0.88 right that's pretty high so based on the um, contents that we gave you can see that we, it has correctly predicted that this is actually a sports article and so yeah this is so you can embed this in your um, application so this is just um, how to use AutoML to create models and deploy models so this is when you don't really have a good background in machine learning but you still want to train a model right because in this series of videos we didn't actually write the model code so what if you have your own custom model what if you want to use GPUs um, what you want to, what if you want to go through the whole um, pipeline um, machine learning pipeline um, process so um, in my previous videos I did a video where you we looked at TFX which is um, a library for building deep learning pipelines and we deploy TFX on um, kubeflow now we are going to do the same thing but in this case we are going to we are not going to set up any infrastructure like we did previously we are just going to deploy this in the vertex AI pipelines now the vertex AI pipelines um, uses kubeflow pipelines right but vertex AI takes care of the infrastructure and the scaling for you so we are going to write similar um, TFX pipeline but in this case we would deploy it um, on um, vertex AI so I hope you check out um, the new playlist that I'm, I plan on making on TFX and Vertex AI. So keep watching.